Good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch, and it's Friday morning, August the 30th. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mitch. Drink it if you got it. Labor Day weekend coming up. Have a, have a great weekend, everybody. Today, today, I want to go back to something I've talked about many times. Something that's driven me crazy about doing this, and that is comments on videos. And it's a, evidently, it's a double-edged sword. Evidently, it appears that if, that if I don't interact with the comments, somehow the YouTube algorithm penalizes me. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> anyway... It's been 10 days, believe it or not. I can't believe it. It's been 10 days, and I know it's been 10 days because I scrolled through hundreds of pages of comments back far enough to get to the oldest one that I haven't responded to, and it was about 10 days old. I've been reading through the comments, but I haven't been responding to them. I haven't been putting a heart on them. I haven't been replying. And that's what it takes for me to get them off of my list of comments I haven't responded to. Just reading them does not clear them off that list. There's no way for me to clear that list. So I'm sure that uh, big YouTubers who don't read comments and don't respond to comments have millions and millions and millions of comments still on that list. And maybe... Maybe at a certain point, YouTube actually clears the list when they get older than a certain, older than a, a, a certain date. I don't know how that works. All I know is for me to get rid of a comment, I have to either give it a heart, I have to reply to it and say something, or I have to hide the user. That's it. Those are my options. Got to the point for me, and I've told you this before, that dealing with these comments was getting to be an eight plus hour a day job because I want to interact with all of my viewers. I desperately want to. It just became impossible and it was stressing me so that I had to stop. And I'll use the excuse of health reasons. It was just too aggravating because because of the stupid and hurtful troll comments that I can't just ignore and hurt me. Everybody said, harden yourself up, Mitch. That's not who I am. I've talked about this. So I got to a point where I, I said, you know, if I'm going to continue on YouTube, I need to ignore the comments. And I, I did for 10 days. And I found myself, day by day, starting to look at them because I am interested in what you say. If I've helped you, I want to know about it. I do enjoy reading the, the success stories that you have, especially if you attribute your success to me. I missed that. Call me a flip-flopper, but... I enjoyed not having to deal with them, but I missed dealing with them. Who knows? I also kind of figured that it hurts the YouTube algorithm when I don't either heart or reply to these comments. Somehow, they reward people who do by maybe pushing their videos out to more, more new people who've never seen them. The problem, and I don't want to complain about being on YouTube because I love it. I'm here. If I don't have to do this, nobody's holding a gun to my head. But we do have to navigate. We have to navigate the system. We have to learn almost on a weekly basis, how their algorithm, how their algorithm decides which videos to promote to new people and which ones not to. And 
there's got to be thousands, if not millions, of different factors taken into consideration. And one of them may very well be how many comments the creator actually actually interacts with. What I've come up with as a way for me to really not miss something important in the comments. And the problem isn't so much the time, but I answer comments on my cell phone. And the reason I do is because when I, when I would answer a comment, I can do voice typing, which I don't do on my computer. Eight to 10 hours of staring, of hunched over staring into a cell phone screen and typing on a tiny little keyboard is horrible for your eyesight and your health. Stressful, eye strain, posture gets ruined. This cell phone stuff is ruining our postures. We're all walking around with our, with our necks hunched forward. It, and to have to do that for eight, 10, 12 hours a day and be aggravated by what you read, it's like a double whammy of destructive health activities. But I do want to reply. And the way I've come up with doing this is I'm going to go through the comments and eventually I'll even probably go back to some of the real old ones. So if you get a notification that Mitch loves your comment. It was on a comment from three weeks before. You'll understand why. But I'm going to go through the comments, but I can't do them on my, uh, on my cell phone. I have to do them on my computer where I'm sitting, where I can sit with good posture, read. I'm going to read them all, and most likely, I'm just going to put a heart on them. When you get a message that says, old guy carnivore loves your comment, it means I've read your comment. Some of them I love, some of them I don't love. You be the judge. If you wrote something that you thought that I would like or love, then you could assume that I, I liked or loved it. If you wrote something that was absurd, stupid, moronic, hurtful, assume that my heart is just me telling you. I need to get this comment off of my list so I never see it again, but it's not bad enough for me to hide you as a user, okay? Because that's my option. Love the comment, answer the comment, or hide the user. Since you know I'm not going to uh, debate morons or start a dialogue with somebody who wants to argue with me, that'll never happen. I. I have an option of deleting you as a user, hiding you from the channel, which is an extreme measure for me. So if you get a heart that says old guy carnivore loves your comment, you can take it to mean that I read your comment and this is the way for me to get rid of it without banning you. If I find, if I find it too offensive and too hurtful and I find you too much of an idiot, I'm just going to have to hide you from the channel, but I will not, I will not debate you or have any dialogue. I'm never going to change your mind. You're never going to change mind. Why go through that frustrating exercise? So that's what's going to happen. I'm hoping to be able to zip through them maybe an hour or two, maybe three a day tops sitting at my computer. I won't be able to voice type on my computer. So I think that my, and I'm not going to explore software or any of the things to do that. There's problems with voice typing. You have to go back and have to edit everything anyway. It leaves out punctuation. It doesn't capitalize names. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And the, and the brunt of the time that I took on my cell phone in responding was editing 
the responses generated by the voice typing is frustrating, aggravating, a lot of work, hurts my neck, strains my eyes. I can't do it anymore. But I love you guys. I love all of you. I want to interact with you. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give this a try. And here's my new guidelines of how I think I might be able to deal with this, at least until my channel grows to twice what it is now. I don't think that's likely to happen with the way YouTube is treating us. But whatever happens will happen. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing this. I'm going to answer them on my computer. I'm going to read them all. I'm going to, I'm going to read them all except the novellas. How's that? I'm not going to read any comment that fills up my entire computer screen with typing. Usually those comments are kind of, this is my life story and maybe somebody's interested and maybe somebody is interested. And I hope that maybe some other users, if you have a motivational story, will read it. I don't have the time. I can't do it. I'll read the first few sentences of it and more than likely just give it a heart. The comments, the comments on public videos are not the place to ask personal medical questions under any circumstances. I can't answer them. When you tell me what your symptoms are, what your doctor said, I can't comment on that publicly. I won't. There's risks to that and it's inappropriate and dangerous, I think, even for doctors to give their diagnostic opinions to people in a comment on a video or even on a live stream. But they keep doing it. I won't do it. I'm not a doctor. I will give your video a heart. So if you've asked me a question of a personal medical nature and I didn't answer but just said I love the comment, you can know that I can't answer those things. If you ask me something that I, that, that I think I can answer with a short answer and it's no big deal, I will reply. I used to say thank you to every compliment. And I used to try to put your name in the, in the thank you. Thank you, comma, Jane. I can't do that anymore. Way too time consuming. So when you write me a comment, it's nice. And I say I love your comment. Just assume I'm saying thank you. And I can get on to the next one because going through these things is gruesome. There's so many of them. I love the fact that you comment. I encourage you to comment. I would, the more comments, the better. I like people who take what I say seriously enough to interact with it. But dealing with them on the back end is just brutal, time consuming, uncomfortable work. It's like doing your income taxes. And yet, I missed it. I miss hearing what you have to say. I'm gonna give it my best shot Give it your best shot, please, to say what you need to say in the comments succinctly. Consider the fact that I've got to spend my time reading them and hopefully it'll work out. Hopefully it'll work out. I'm not going to go back to the comments from morons. Occasionally, if one of them is absolutely absurdly stupid, I might point it out in passing. But I'm not going to dwell on those things. I'm just going to either get rid of those people or tell them I love them. That's it. That's it. Hope that works for you. I really do. I really do. I want you to know always, all of you who watch these things, how much I appreciate, appreciate the fact that I have become important in some way to you. That means so much to me. I want you to really know that I'll try to acknowledge every comment that you, that you put in there and we'll see how it goes. 
Thank you so much. I have a live stream tomorrow. I have a live stream tomorrow at 3 p.m. I hope more and more of you show up on these live streams. I love them, and it does give me a chance to interact with you. See you tomorrow on my live stream, 3 o'clock. Finish your coffee if you got it. Have a great day. Take the rest of the day off and eat meat. Thank <laughs> you.